Here I have these, you know, shadow forms that came from shadows, and now they're creating their own shadows. I wanted to give shadows their own identity, if you will. My name is Matthew Wood, uh, also go by Woody. Uh, I studied at the Kansas City Art Institute. I did my undergraduate work there and then moved to New York in uh, early 2000 and uh, did my graduate work there at NYU. So I've always been fascinated by shadows. There are no signifiers to like the people, like who the person is, what they look like, what age they are, what ethnicity they are. So I always thought that was kind of a cool thing about a shadow. It's like I can tell that it's a figure, but I don't know anything else about that. Instead of taking a picture of someone, I'll take a picture of their shadow. So then I started taking these shadow forms, cutting them out of the actual photographs, and then making drawings using these little amoebic forms as templates, and then would go back into those uh, drawings and extract the beginning of all the different forms that you see now. Um, I started thinking about different ways of actually making paintings if you will, um, rather than just, you know, the traditional way with paint and a brush. A friend of mine who's a printmaker came in my studio one day and said, I found this amazing paper in the art store. Sure enough, I found this huge, awesome, like, wooden flat file cabinet with about 25 different drawers full of this awesome paper called Chromarama. And basically, Chromarama, and is now obsolete and impossible to find, I found out that this Chromarama, when manufactured, was actually wet paint that was screen printed onto this paper. So I still do consider it, you know, a surrogate to actual, you know, wet paint. I've acquired all the Chromarama. I've endlessly searched the interweb for 20 years to find more, and I, they're extremely rare. <laughs> and it's just another way, instead of like, you know, layering paint, it's just an actual physical way of creating layers, then I guess visually, like creating layers, or like tricking the eye that way. So for instance, this is a piece around the corner is entitled, What Dreams May Come. And so when I was working on that piece, I was thinking about this painter, uh, 19th century painter, French painter, Jared Colt, who made this painting called Raft of the Medusa. Also, I was listening to a lot of David Bowie at the time, Space Oddity, you know, Major Tom taking off in his capsule. And so in the piece, you know, I have what looks, could be like a raft, you know, with a bunch of figures kind of crammed on it, but then also it looks like a capsule that like a spaceman could be in. Um, in mythology, there's the River Styx and the ferryman, Sharon, who you give the coin to and takes you across the River Styx. And so I was thinking about all the three of these concepts and what they have in common is transition between like life and death or life and what's after life, you know, may not be death. So that's the title then becomes What Dreams May Come. So ultimately what I want to get from the show and having people come by is just for everyone to really enjoy the work. I want to thank the gallery for the opportunity to share with everyone and I'm really uh, humbled to be able to be here to share.